Okay, thousands of woolly worm lovers from across the country will head to Banner Elk this weekend. It's the 45th annual Woolly Worm Festival, and who better knows more about it than one of Roy's folks? Are you ready for cheer for your favorite worm? Uh, they're fuzzy. The woolly worm uh, has wiggled probably, its fuzzy self um, enough to where you can pretty much find it anywhere in the world. On your mark, set, go! But one place high in the North Carolina mountains is special. It uh, refers back to the old time when the area was called the Lost Province. Biggie and Lane Four is off to a great start. Each fall here in Banner Elk, they didn't have much contact with the outside world, and the farmers <clears throat> wanted a way to uh, help prepare for the winter. Pickle Rick and Lane Six. Long range forecasts of the winter are made by these little guys. I know, smoke is going the wrong way. You can turn him around. And it has 13 body segments on it. And the winter has 13 weeks to it. Yep, those mountain folks say the black and brown segments of the woolly worm can tell us a lot, corresponding with each week of the winter. When you read the woolly worm, if that week's segment is black, it's going to be colder than normal. If it's brown, it's going to be normal or warmer than normal. Yeah, but Pickle Rick has still got the lead. But which worm is right? Well, each year, the Woolly Worm Festival puts that to rest, putting 25 worms to a race. And the winner of the final race wins $1,000 and fame and fortune. And believe it or not, the fuzzy worm is more right than wrong. 87% accuracy, we think we're better than any groundhog. With the woolly worms <laughs> looking for winter. And some of Roy's folks, Chad Tucker. Fox 8 News. He needs a helmet on because he's about to crash into the finish line. Be curious to see what this year's Willie Warren will say. Well, 17 to 20,000 people are expected this weekend with more than 200 vendors. This all happens right there in the heart of Benner Elk on Saturday and Sunday. All the money raised goes to the children of Avery County. Mm -hmm.